Bubba. What's up guys, Yes, McGann here today. We are playing tier in the solo lane with this new skin because I said I'll definitely be playing some tier when this skin comes out because it looks so good. And we have a Mercury jungle, which of course he just got a buff. So I want to see how that works out for him. He did, he's now slow immune during his two, which I mean, can only help Mercury because what I've been doing usually for my build on Mercury, uh, it's not really for the jungle, but I think it could work in the jungle as well as uh, I go for the boots and then I go into the heart seeker then the wing blade but now that they have this change of course don't need to go for the wing blade anymore which means you're going to be a bit squishier but I mean with mercury you're gonna get a bunch more damage so I think it's definitely gonna be worth it for him in the long run so we're gonna see how that works out for him and it looks like I'm against Erlong Shen and if you remember last time we played uh Conquest we played some Erlong Shen solo against it here and Erlong Shen tends to have the advantage in this lane because of that pin Just being so brutal as well as he has a very strong early game where he can play very aggressive tier Unfortunately, doesn't have the safest clear so he can't get away with that hey So we're gonna have to try and play this one safe Hopefully we don't get caught or anything early because if we can make it towards the mid game not super far behind we should be fine and be able to Capitalize on tier strengths. I'm not the most proficient tier player, but I want to get better at tier So we're gonna be playing him because I think if you're a really good tier player You can actually make a huge impact on him But he's one of those gods where you have to be really good at him to really make a big impact. So We're gonna try and do that this time around. Oops. I just missed my power cleave on the small minion All right, we'll move over to the mana buff We'll tank a little bit of this for the Mercury. There we go. Go to the lane. Not bad. Clear went better than I was expecting. Should be an Erlong Shen Thor that we're against. Okay, looks like he went for his 3 and his 1. So we are going to win the clear overall. If he would have went for the pin, he could have stopped my fearless. So what I did there was really, really risky and not as worth it as I thought it would be. But it ended up being okay for us as, like I said, he didn't go for the pin. So we were a bit safer than we probably should have been right there. Okay, I'm going to hit level 3 here. I messed up my basic attacks right there. We didn't get one minion right there, but that's okay. Go back around. Okay, he just went for a standard throw. Actually, he went for the curse here. So he's looking to maybe get a kill. Which can maybe be pretty scary. I don't know. We're going to have to be careful here, though. Make sure not to get cut off by him. But he actually messed up that clear right there. And we're going to outclear him pretty heavily. He didn't hit the pin on us. So we were able just to get our fearless and our defensive stance. As well as our power cleave in our defensive stance and our offensive stance. So we were able to clear the wave pretty quickly there. And it looks like they're going to trade one for one. A support for a support. So overall, I guess an even trade. Although Erlong Shen is a support that you kind of don't want to get behind on. So it may actually be... A bit of a better trade for them overall, but that's fine. Looks like we're going to push Erlong Shen into the tower this game. Now, this is something that you want to see. This is definitely something you want to see whenever you're playing tier in the soul lane against an Erlong Shen. You want to be able to bully him out early because usually you can't really do that. And right here, I'm staying in my defensive stance because I don't want him to pin me whenever I'm in my offensive stance trying to get my offensive fearless off. Okay, I'm going to go to the Fire Elementals now. Take those out nice and easily. It looks like they're making a big rotation to that left side. They should be able to get some kills. That was a big Mercury ultimate. I think they did hit at least one there. All right, my mana's not too good right now. It looks like we are going to get at least one kill. Geb could get away. Yeah, it looks like Geb's going to get away, but good job for my team. All right. Okay, I'm looking to go back to base very soon. He's trying to. I think he's just. Actually, hold on. Okay, I got him a bit lower because 
I know Mercury said he wants to gank over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm gonna die to this tower. That's too bad. Mercury couldn't get here quick enough. It looks like our Erlong Shen is gonna be over here, though. And he did get a good taunt with his ultimate, because he did hit level 5. That is gonna be a curse, though. Oh, they did get the stun. Oh, Mercury missed, though. Oh, man. That is too bad, and Thoth got around. Okay, got two health pots and a ward. Doesn't look like they're gonna get anything here, though. Oh, nope, they did get the Erlong Shen. Finally, that was... Took a bit longer than probably intended. But they got the kill, which is good. And, ooh, looks like we're gonna be able to pick up the mana buff here, which is good. Okay, Thoth, I wanted to make sure he didn't get around. Okay, we're gonna secure that with the power cleave. And the speed buff should be ours as well. Thor got put back to base. If he comes over here, I'll fearless it. Looks like he's not even gonna make it over here in time. Put a ward over there. Not bad! So we're gonna be able to make a nice capitalization on that kill on Erlong Shen. He doesn't have the teleport, so... We're gonna be able to get all this free stuff from his jungle, as well as the fire elementals to top it off. Not bad, not bad. We're gonna be level seven. Erlong Shen's the same level as us. He was alive a bit longer, and I think he got a few minion kills during that fight. Plus he got the kill on me and I didn't get a kill or an assist, I mean, overall during all of that, which is too bad, but still not gonna be too bad for us, I think. All right, play a bit aggressive on him right here. We did get a amount of damage to him right there. We did out damage him a little bit. Not by much, but it was a little, which is not bad. We are level eight. He is still level seven. I'm just gonna go for the wave clear here. It looks like another kill. Mercury getting kills is all we need to see right now. Oh, I don't, I missed that power cleave really badly right there. He's gonna get the pin on us, though. Uh-oh, is he getting an ultimate? No, there's Thor's over there. I'm gonna say enemy ultimate down, so... Mercury could look for an ultimate over here, possibly. Well, actually, they may be looking for a gank. Here comes Mercury! Do you even get the three? There it is. Easy kill. His ultimate was down, like I said. We were able to force that out earlier. And we got the kill overall. And ooh, there's Geb. Mercury's going for the wave. I kind of want to go for the fire elementals, though. Ooh. Thor so going for the ultimate in the mid lane, it looks like. Which was, he saw he saw that I saw him ulting, a new wall saw as well, so she went towards the tower, so. Not really the best gank for Thor, unfortunately, for him, but we were able to get the Fire Elementals, which is good for ourselves, and that's going to be an ultimate down for him, and I can just, oh, there's Thor, showing up. Do a bit of damage to him, if he's going to show his face. Erlong Shen's going to show up. All right, our, is there like Shen? Okay, I think he might have lagged out right there for a second. He's gonna hit level nine off of that minion, but we're about to hit level 10. All we need is a minion after this, and we should be there, actually, I think two minions. Or the Brute, the Brute would be good. All right, we're just gonna run up and clear this really quickly. Cause I kinda wanna look for his mana buff. Let's see, who are they on over there? It's Geb, okay. Oh, okay, Thor is over there. Which is what I wanted to make sure was the case. Okay, that's gonna be an ultimate from Erlong Shen. We're gonna be able to pick up the mana buff for ourselves. Oh no. Will I have this, the mana sustain? Oh, doesn't look like it. Oh, we did have a Mercury get a good ultimate. Oh, I'm gonna get killed by Thor though. We should be able to get the Erlong Shen and the Thor. Yep. That ended up being okay for us. That ended up being okay for us. We got caught out by the by the Erlong Shen and the Thor showed up, but Mercury was able to get in, get an ultimate, hit both of them, and get a double kill, which is all we needed. All we needed. Plus, we stole the mana buff, which is 
Always great. And a Breastplate of Valor is going to be what we get to pick up now. Oh man, we we're doing so well this game against this Erlong Shen. This is probably the best it could have gone overall in this matchup. Even though we've been caught out a bit by Thor, which is completely our fault. But Tyr is one of the harder warriors to catch out as Thor just because of his passive. Giving him, of course, the extra CCR. I think they're ganking mid. Should be out to have that. It is a Geb though, so you need to be careful and there's Thor coming in. Erlong Shen's going to be going as well. The enemy's incoming. Be careful, middle. There was nothing you could have done there. Okay, they got one, but they traded out because Stoth ended up dying. Wait, did Erlang Shen ults right there? Okay, he did. Okay, they do have Rom coming in. Alright, let's see if I can Okay, I don't know. Thoth saw me. I don't know why he did that. That was that was a kill for him <laughs> for us, just because he decided to move up a bit too far. Odd maneuver, odd maneuver, but we're going to take advantage of it and get another kill for the team. 10 to 5 is the score. We are winning by 5 kills and a good amount of gold. And oh, there's our long Shen. Still standing around. I'm just going to go for this. I'm just going to go for this clear here. And oh, is he, oh he's standing around. Oh, I'm not going to be in range of the power cleave. See if they can stop that gold fury. Erlong Shen's there and they're not the healthiest. Looks like their Erlong Shen's going back to base. The enemies have returned to base. He doesn't have teleport so he can't get over to the gold fury. And it looks like our team's going to be able to get it because they went for it even though they were not the healthiest. Which was kind of odd. And Erlong Shen was able to get there. Stop them from doing it and we're going to be able to pick it up for ourselves. And ooh, can they get the Thoth here? See if I can take out this tower. Erlang Shen's gonna be able to clear pretty quickly though. Yeah, he got it. I'm just gonna go for it though. Okay, not gonna get it unfortunately. But we trade for ultimate for ultimate, which isn't terrible, I guess. Our ultimate's a bit more important. I'm just gonna go back to base. Thought we could be get the tower, but not quite enough. Teleport back in. Looks like he's going for our mana buff this time around. I think I'm going to do this. Go for the Pestilence. Not going to stop him, but we do have new wall possibly coming over here. Okay, never mind. We're going to be able to kill him without the new wall even coming over here. Which is good, and their Erlong Shen just rage quit. Awesome, awesome. Gotta love, gotta love the rage quit after losing the uh, <laughs> the tier Erlong Shen matchup. Not not too fun for him. Not too fun. It's really because we had such a good early game, and he didn't hit his pin on us. I guess he might be new to Erlong Shen, and couldn't get the pin placement too perfectly whenever we were going in our fear, or whenever we were in our fearless, because you can stop us from hitting the archers if you do that, but. We're going to take out his mana buff once again, and... Oh, actually, hold on. Nuwa might need my help. I'm coming, Nuwa! Oh, we got Thor in the air. Oh, he almost got taken out. He's going to go down to Nuwa! Oh my gosh, Geb's going down as well, looks like. I just walked into the tower. Didn't even need to use my Fearless. Didn't even need to use my Blink. Take out that tower. Yeah, we can go for the next tower as well. Pretty quickly here, we have the Erlong Shen, New Wa, as well as Tier New. Oh, Rom. Is Mercury gonna get this Rom who was in the air? <laughs> I think he has it. Oh my gosh, he got it. What a good play from that Mercury. I really like the Mercury's build. That's the build I actually usually go on uh, Mercury. At least in Conquest right now. Okay, Erlang Shen may end up in some trouble here. Okay, no, he's going to be fine. I think Thos ultimate did hit, but it didn't even do that much damage, so he's going to be completely fine. I'm going to go over here, heal off of the speed buff. Maybe take that out. An enemy has been oh, looks like Mercury was somehow able to kill the Geb. He is just so fed right now. 
Seven, one, and seven on Mercury Jungle at 13 minutes in. That may be a GG. That may be a GG. Especially with the new change, making it really hard for him to really be stopped. Doesn't get affected by slows, so gods like Thoth and Rom are not going to be able to hold him off. They're not going to be able to kite him back anymore. Like they used to be able to, although usually in fights late game, Mercury would just one-shot people anyway, so it wouldn't really the kiting wouldn't really be effective, but mid-game, kiting can actually be really good against Mercury. Once you don't when you don't have all that crit and everything online, all you have is the wind demon. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Okay, looks like he went. He went for new wall there, but he missed. I didn't go for the Fearless because I knew he was just going to go for his Berserker Barrage. And oh, Mercury coming in once again. Gotta be expecting it from this Mercury. He is just everywhere with these ultimates. Perfect ultimates all game from this Mercury that have just set up so much. Like Mercury, I just I just really love Mercury. Early game, the setup he has. And with items like Heartseeker, you can do so much damage early. Oh, and up oh, the pin. We had the blink, so we're going to be able to take out the Thoth. Not bad, not bad. And take out this Phoenix. I'm surprised they haven't surrendered this game, even though it's 4v5. The Earl of Shed Rage could. Okay, there it is. GG. Good job from our team, and unfortunate that the Erlong Shen Rage quit. I mean, I guess it kind of happens after we killed him at our mana buff, because... I guess he thought he could he could get away with the mana buff steal, but he he didn't. So that was <laughs> that was pretty rough for him, and it definitely crushed his morale as he as he rage quit. I'll say sorry for DC. Ooh, nice. We got two win two games. Greek quest complete. That's what I like. That's what I like. Not bad, man. Mercury was a higher level than us. We were level 16, which was the highest in the game besides Mercury, who was level 17. I guess he had 8 kills. 8 kills, 9 assists. That tends to happen. Uh, you tend to end up being the highest level in the game. But, yeah, that was a really fun game. For my build, I probably would have went for... I said I was going to go for Pestilence, but I... If Erlang, if they kept playing an Erlang since Erlang Shun DC'd, I probably would have just went for Bork of Hope. Although, I think Spirit Row would have been pretty good this game. Uh, I could have picked that up after. I think I may have picked up the Winged Blade. I'm not quite sure though. I don't think I would actually really need it all that much though. That's the thing. So I might have picked it up. And I th there was a lot of options I could have went for. I could have went for Mystical Mail. Which actually would have been really good against their team. Because they're looking for the initiation from the, the Geb Blink. And if I could have shut down the Blink, that would be pretty bad. But then again, they did have the Thor for backline initiation. So maybe that wouldn't be so such a great idea now that I think about it. But... Any of the cloak items would have been good here. I probably would have finished it off with the Titan's Vein just for a bit of extra damage. A bit of extra oomph in my build. But yeah, overall, just a great game. Mercury got ahead and... Ooh, you want Titan's Vein right there? I really like Titan's Vein right after Wind Demon as well. I either go Deathbring or Titan's Vein right here just because... Sometimes you just need the extra penetration, so... Or sometimes you need the extra penetration over the, the extra crit, so Titan's Vein's a bit better earlier on in the game. And ooh, someone noticed me. Really loves my videos. This was a video. There you go. Ah, that was uh, the new Wah saying <laughs> he loves my videos, but he's going to be in a video today. I'm, gonna be, I'm famous. You are famous. And you played a really good new Wah. You outplayed that Thor a few times, which was really awesome. And you had some good ganks. So really good job from you, new Wah. But anyway, guys, this has been the SME game with some tier in the solo lane with his new skin which i really really like and i'm definitely going to be playing a lot more tier and maybe we'll have a guy down the line once i get a bit more accustomed to playing tier so anyway hope you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time peace out